Abdominal adhesions are bands of fibrous or scar-like tissue that form between abdominal tissues and organs, causing them to stick together when they should remain separate. Your abdominal cavity naturally contains many organs that need to move freely, intestines that move and shift as they digest food, a uterus that expands during pregnancy, or a bladder that fills and empties throughout the day. The surfaces of these organs are covered with a slippery membrane called the peritoneum, which allows them to glide past each other effortlessly. When adhesions form, they restrict this normal movement, as if parts of your internal organs have been glued together. So think of them as internal scars that develop when your body heals from surgery, infection, or inflammation. Abdominal adhesions can be as thin as cellophane or as thick as leather, sometimes forming complex, tight connections between structures that normally slide past each other smoothly. The condition is incredibly common, especially after surgery. Studies suggest they develop in 93-100% to 100 of people who undergo abdominal or pelvic surgery. Most adhesions never cause problems and go undetected throughout a person's life. However, for some people, these bands of scar tissue can lead to serious complications, from chronic pain to life-threatening bowel obstructions. Types of Abdominal Adhesions Abdominal adhesions can be categorized in several ways based on their location, cause, and severity. Number 1. Peritoneal Adhesions This type forms within the peritoneal cavity, which is the space containing most of your digestive organs. These are the most common type and typically develop after abdominal surgery, particularly procedures involving the small intestine, appendix, or colon. Number 2. Pelvic Adhesions this type specifically affects the organs in the pelvis, such as the uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, and surrounding structures. These are particularly common in women following gynecological surgeries, endometriosis, or pelvic inflammatory disease. Pelvic adhesions are a leading cause of female infertility and chronic pelvic pain. Number 3. Bowel Adhesions this type involves the small or large intestine becoming stuck to other parts of itself, to other organs, or to the abdominal wall. These are particularly concerning because they can cause intestinal obstruction, which is a potentially life-threatening condition where digestive contents cannot pass through the intestine. Number 4. Congenital Adhesions These adhesions are present from birth and typically result from abnormal development in the womb. These are much rarer than acquired adhesions, and often involve the intestines or reproductive organs. Causes of Abdominal Adhesions Surgery is by far the most common cause of abdominal adhesions. When surgeons cut into your abdomen, the resulting tissue damage triggers your body's natural healing response. Your immune system sends special cells to repair the damage, creating a protein called fibrin scaffold, which helps with blood clotting and tissue repair. Normally, this fibrin scaffold is broken down once healing is complete. However, sometimes this process goes wrong, and the fibrin transforms into permanent bands of collagen-rich scar tissue, which is what we call adhesions. Certain surgical techniques can increase this risk, particularly open surgeries with larger incisions, surgeries lasting more than two hours, or procedures involving extensive handling of the intestines. Inflammation in the abdomen can also lead to adhesion formation even without surgery. Conditions like appendicitis, diverticulitis, or pelvic inflammatory disease cause inflammation of the peritoneum, which triggers the same healing response that can lead to adhesions. Endometriosis is another significant cause of pelvic adhesions in women. This condition occurs when tissue similar to the uterine lining grows outside the uterus. These misplaced tissue deposits bleed during menstruation, causing inflammation and irritation that often leads to extensive adhesion formation. These adhesions can bind the ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, and bowel together, contributing to fertility problems and chronic pain. Abdominal trauma, such as a car accident or sports injury that impacts the abdomen, can also damage internal organs and tissues, leading to internal bleeding and the subsequent formation of adhesions as the body heals. Radiation therapy to the abdomen or pelvis, often used to treat certain cancers, can also damage tissues and lead to inflammation that triggers adhesion formation. The risk increases with higher radiation doses and larger treatment areas.
Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Symptoms of abdominal adhesions. The symptoms of abdominal adhesions can vary tremendously from person to person. Many people with adhesions never experience any symptoms at all, with the adhesions discovered only incidentally during surgery for unrelated conditions. For others, adhesions can cause life-altering chronic pain or acute emergencies requiring immediate surgical intervention. Chronic abdominal or pelvic pain is the most common symptom when adhesions become problematic. This pain often has specific characteristics. It may be crampy or sharp, worsen with movement or certain positions, and improve with rest. Many patients describe the pain as feeling like pulling or tugging inside their abdomen. The pain may be constant or intermittent and can range from mild discomfort to debilitating agony. Intestinal obstruction presents a more serious complication of adhesions. When adhesions kink or twist the intestine, they can partially or completely block the passage of digestive contents. Symptoms of obstruction typically include severe cramping pain, abdominal swelling, nausea, vomiting, inability to pass gas or stool, and loud gurgling sounds from the abdomen. Complete bowel obstruction is a medical emergency requiring immediate treatment. Digestive disturbances also commonly occur with abdominal adhesions. These might include constipation, diarrhea, excessive gas, bloating, or feelings of early fullness when eating. These symptoms result from adhesions altering normal intestinal movement or restricting the normal expansion of the stomach or intestines. Diagnosis of abdominal adhesions. Diagnosing abdominal adhesions is challenging because they typically don't show up on standard imaging tests. Unlike tumors or inflammation, adhesions are thin and made of fibrous tissue similar to surrounding normal structures making them virtually invisible on x-rays, ultrasounds, CT scans, or MRIs. Because of this, diagnosis often involves a process of elimination, ruling out other potential causes of symptoms before considering adhesions as the culprit. Physical examination can reveal tenderness, masses, or restricted movement in the abdomen. Doctors may perform specific maneuvers to check for signs of bowel obstruction, such as listening for abnormal bowel sounds or checking for abdominal distension. In women with suspected pelvic adhesions, a pelvic examination may reveal fixed or immobile reproductive organs. Diagnostic laparoscopy remains the gold standard for definitively diagnosing adhesions. This minimally invasive surgical procedure allows doctors to insert a camera through a small incision and directly visualize the abdominal or pelvic cavity. Laparoscopy not only confirms the presence of adhesions, but also shows their exact location, extent, and which organs are involved. Treatment for abdominal adhesions. There is no medication or non-surgical therapy that can directly dissolve or remove existing adhesions. Once formed, adhesions become part of your body's tissue structure. Many people with abdominal adhesions do not require surgery, especially if they do not have severe symptoms. However, if they are causing symptoms, there are several treatment approaches to either remove them or address complications caused by them. Number 1. Surgical Removal – Adhesiolysis Surgical removal of adhesions, called adhesiolysis, is the only definitive treatment for problematic adhesions. During this procedure, surgeons carefully cut or separate the bands of scar tissue to free the affected organs. Adhesiolysis can be performed through either laparoscopic surgery, using several small incisions and specialized instruments, or through traditional open surgery with a larger incision. However, it's important to understand that surgery itself can cause new adhesions to form. Studies show that adhesions recur in up to 85% of cases. Number 2. Adhesion Barriers During surgeries, surgeons can place special materials called adhesion barriers between tissues likely to form adhesions. These barriers work by physically separating tissues during the critical healing period when adhesions begin to form. These materials remain in place temporarily, eventually dissolving or being absorbed by the body. Studies show these barriers can reduce adhesion formation by 40 to 60% following surgery. Number 3. Pain Management For patients with chronic pain from adhesions who aren't candidates for surgery or prefer to avoid it, 
various pain management strategies can help improve quality of life. Medications like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can reduce inflammation and pain. In more severe cases, neuropathic pain medications such as gabapentin or amitriptyline might help if the pain has a nerve-related component. Number 4. Management of Bowel Obstruction Partial bowel obstructions sometimes resolve with conservative management. Patients are hospitalized and given nothing by mouth to rest the bowel, while fluids and nutrition are provided intravenously. This approach allows the bowel to rest, and in many cases of partial obstruction, the intestine manages to work its way free. If conservative management fails or if there's a complete obstruction, emergency surgery becomes necessary to release the adhesions and restore normal bowel function. At the end, abdominal adhesions can be a challenging condition to manage, but with the right approach, many people can find relief from symptoms and prevent serious complications. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you or someone you know experienced abdominal adhesions? What symptoms did you notice, and how did you manage them? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.